All right, this video is intended to be a demonstration of dynamic trimming in Avid Media Composer. Uh, I find that dynamic trimming can be a difficult thing to explain to people who don't really understand why it can be great. And I looked around the internet and I found very few videos that, and none that I thought were good that really explained what it is that Avid editors like so much about dynamic trimming. So I've made a very simple video here. This is my wife. She's working on some furniture. I have some bad library music. And I'm going to try to show you quickly what dynamic trimming is all about. Basically, it the thing I love about it is that it allows you to watch and listen to your footage as you trim. Uh, and you can control it with your JK and L keys. And it feels very intuitive and natural. Obviously, this uh, footage doesn't have any dialogue. It's even better with dialogue because you can listen to what the people are saying and cut when you want to cut, but I didn't have any good footage to demonstrate like that. So I'm just gonna take a look at this. It's a very simple video. It's really the picture just cutting on the kind of the beats of the music. Um, but what if one of these edits was wrong? What if it wasn't on the beat? So if I come back here and now this edit won't be wrong, but it won't be on the beat. So if I wanted to fix that, I could select this edit, select that edit, and I could just press L and listen to the music and press spacebar when I was ready to uh, move the edit. And now I press spacebar again, it's still in trim mode. And I did it. If I wanted to, I could adjust that by a frame here or a frame there, or I could switch sides to the edit, or I could do a roll, a roll edit, but I think that edit's fine. Might be a tiny bit late. And with music, it can be very helpful because you're often timing music, putting on the sting, whatever. So I've made this music track so that stings out. which is nice. But let's say that it was in the wrong place, or I wanted to extend it. So in Final Cut or in Premiere, there would be a lot of guesswork. You might put a marker on the track where you wanted the music to come in because you might, you know, listen along and then guess and put a marker right there and that gets you pretty close and then you'll have to adjust it. So I listen now. Not great, but I can select this and I can listen to the music. A little late, two frames. In conclusion, I think it is a very fluid form of editing that I've demonstrated probably poorly, but that when you are working with narrative, uh, documentary material, reality television, and you really need to finesse things, and you want to pay attention to the content, and you don't want to, what I don't like about Final Cut is I would just kind of drag this out, and then I would let it go, which is great, but I, don't, I can't hear it. I can't hear what's happening, and I'm just guessing on a still frame. Still frames are helpful but I really want to know what it, what's being said. I want to know how it feels, if it feels too long or feels too short. I want to know what the music's doing. And all that is a sort of a guess, and I find that in Final Cut I'm always just sort of using my mouse to just guess a little bit and maybe adjust a little bit, And but I'm not listening and paying attention to the footage. All right, um, that's it. If you have any questions, you can send me an email, and I hope this was helpful. Thank you.